supposed to be your moment, ain't it? It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the Bill God Sensei. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know, man. Help a brother hit 260K, my boy. Help hit that what? Hit that like button. Help get my vid pushed to the algorithm if you mess with me. Look, man, today, you know the intelligent swine. I'm going to bring y'all a Lamello ball build, right? <laughs> The most accurate and overpowered build that you can actually use in the park and you probably you you you, you probably like up, up, up on the higher echelon of builds now look before i really get into it you know i'm gonna break it down i'm gonna break it down i'm gonna give you a lot of jewels man this build is way better than lamello right but it's still as accurate as possible right 2k done gave this nigga a goddamn 77 overall and i i'm i'm, I'm gonna get into it in the in the game but look so you're an idiot if you make Lamelo Ball uh, a PG. Um, this gonna be the best Lamelo Ball build. Y'all, let me know how you feel about it, my nigga. You make him a power forward, bro. It, you're, he's gonna be six seven, six eight anyway. You know, Lamelo left-handed, and he is number two, my boy. I believe. I don't know for sure. I don't... Now look, um, it says he's six seven. It also says he's six eight, but. It seemed like he listed at 6'7", so we gonna make him 6'7". That gives him better playmaking anyways. People saying, boy, a pure playmaker. <laughs> Anywho, you know, we gonna make him the lowest weight because this nigga like 6'7", like 190. Nigga skinny as hell. You can't make him any lower than 210. And we gonna give him the lowest wingspan, again, for his playmaking, my boy. He's not known to be a defender. Everyone says he ass at defending. Skip that. Now look, me... Real nigga Swan, leader of the Real Nigga Academy. I will make him burly, but I know y'all probably wanna, you know, since this nigga skinny as hell, you know, uh, you could do built or slight. If you do slight, this nigga is gonna look absolutely hilarious. Look at this big head ass nigga, nigga little body ass nigga. This is LaMelo, my nigga. But um, do what you want. I would go burly if you want more like comp, cause you appear bigger than what you actually so look man here we go we are finna start right here my boy i'm gonna do it from top to, to to bottom man so make sure you don't skip so you really understand the build man so look we gonna give him a driving layup of 94 i know his layup not that high but look we going for badges my boy they gave him an 82 layup you know so it's still too high they gave him a 65 driving dunk but we gonna give him an 84 you know he ain't got the 99 like the rest and we just gonna max out these attributes for 13 finishing badges. That's pretty godlike, right? And post control, I think that ties into post hooking. So with this nigga, you're gonna be able to be a little post score. It's toxic as fuck, right? Crazy as hell, man. We're gonna bring his midi to 75, even though he shoots a better midi than his three point. I know he played overseas and he shot terrible, even though he barely played. But we still gonna give him a 95 three ball. <laughs> just, just, just to be, but look, look, y'all are gonna understand why he has so much extra shooting and finishing because I maxed the playmaking and it's leftover badges. You can't put it on defense, my nigga, you know? So you might as well, you know, make him an all around build. And you know, you don't want no free throw. Look at this, let me show you a trick, man. So look, you got 20 shooting badges, okay? They said he was a terrible shooter. They gave him a 70 close shot, 72 mid, and a 71 three, bro. That's crazy. I thought he was a shooter. I thought he was a deep range shooter, but you know, he out here shooting uh 25 and you know, all that, you know, y'all be on Westbrook. Westbrook shoot way better than that. But look, if you was to just do something like this, you get 14. But look, I'm a genius, my nigga. I've broken the game. I'm a genius, genius one, teacher swan. But you get 20 doing it like this. Thank me later. Thank me later. Thank me later. <laughs> Can I get a thank me later down in the comments? Now let me give him the playmaking. This is what he's known for, being a facilitator, etc. man. So look, we're gonna bring it down to the 91 to give him 30 maxed playmaking badges. So he got all this shit, all of it, all of it, 30 of them. 
30. I'm tripping, bro. Look, so here's his defense, man. I don't know anything about him being a defender. Y'all let me know um, how y'all feel about that. And look, so we're going to give him nine defensive badges, man. I know you could go with more. Y'all can adjust this how you want. If you want to use this as a base for a build, because this nigga going to have a 99.3 with 20 badges. That's kind of crazy. But um, yeah, bro. Um, Yeah. And look, then he got godlike physicals. Max speed, max acceleration, max stamina. Now look, here's at the ending, man. You can either do 65 vert or 63, and then you could bring this to 65, you know? So it's it's better overall, I guess, for like rebounding. Or you can up the vertical, man. It's personally up to you, bro. Um, if any of y'all make this build, hit me up on Twitter. I would love to use it. I'm not gonna personally make this build myself. Cause I already got my God power forward build, but this is it. This comp, you know. Um, of course, you know you would have to run with other, you know, primary or better lockdown defenders. But this is a nice facilitator. Got a nice shot. Got great finishing. He got enough defensive badges. And a lot of y'all interior defense. If you guys did not know, it has been proven by 2K Lab and Mike Wang has admitted himself. That interior defense does not help paint defense, right? Does not help you get blocks. It helps post defense. <laughs> Crazy, right? Block helps your contest in the paint and on the perimeter, etc. man. But look, let's go with it. I'm gonna show you these takeovers I chose. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the build. Rate it one through 10 for um its competitive meta level and rate it one through 10 on, you know, being super mellow <laughs> love mellow let's not respect disrespect mellow the greatest offensive scorer of all time y'all let me know how y'all rate carmelo as being a top scorer man if you know you know now if you if you think i'm stupid off of saying that you don't know ball but for y'all that do know you know so you know we don't get any shot creating takeovers i kind of wanted that it's probably because I lowered the midi. So maybe if you upgrade the midi and um, have a lower free throw, you can unlock shot creator takeovers if you want that type of shit. But um, so it's between these three and uh, the team rating boost, right? Um, I'm going to do a playmaking one for him since he got 30 defensive badges. Team rating boost gives a large boost to your teammates offensive abilities for a period of time. Boost the progress of each of your teammates' takeovers when activated. And then boost niggas' badges, right? So, it's between these two. I have no experience using these, right? Um, game just came out, whatever. If you have a build that uses these takeovers, let me use that hoe for a video, man, so I could break it down and learn it. But I don't think anyone knows about these takeovers, man, to be honest. But um, I think this probably has a higher chance of being something broken, it's it's between these two but um i would go with this um when you do get unlock mamba takeover you can uh have different takeovers and unlocking mamba i think it's mamba takeover or mama mentality all you have to do is unlock all your badges but it's broken right now just like everything else in the game <laughs> drop a like subscribe so we're gonna pick that and um i guess limitless range so far, I think Limitless Range is broken. I'm low-key thinking spot-up precision is better. I'm not going to hold you, bro. I'm not going to hold you. I low-key think it's better. I haven't used it, but I think it's better on just jump shots overall. It seems like for Limitless, you got to be stupid deep. I don't know. I mean, I got to do more testing and stuff. I haven't got to use this, so I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all, if you have both, like, let me know. Um, seems like when I get my takeover with limitless range, cause it's my first takeover on my other build, I start missing. It's weird as hell. Y'all let me know if you have the same problem, but I'm gonna go with limitless. You could double up on the playmaker if you want, but yeah. And look, I'm gonna give y'all this stupid rare ass build name. Let me know if y'all seen this this year so far. I haven't seen it. Check me out. Offensive oriented four. I don't know how it's a Zion Williamson build. Whoever does this shades of shit, you're dumb as hell. Um, I'm tired of it. Uh, it should be 
definitely way more accurate. But this is a this is a super um rare build, man. Offensive again, anyone telling you about like they know the ins and outs of all these badges is a goddamn lie. Right. Because it's hard as hell, unless they did the badge glitch still at the end of the day. Hello, Gubna. Y'all wanna be toxic. Y'all wanna be toxic, my nigga. You know, we got that high ass post control. What was that whole 80? I don't know. Um, post spin technician. I don't think other people are even gonna have post control. Or people are starting to go with less interior D. I think that's gonna affect this. So you gonna be able to really kill niggas, you know, be really very unique. You feel me? Um, yeah, I would go with this, test this hoe out. But yeah, y'all let me know what finishing badges you would rock on this. I ain't gonna hold you, man. I rock something like this, low key, you know? Um, if y'all don't wanna do the post shit, of course you could just max out green machine, stop and pop and hot shot. And, um, but yeah, if you wanna do some post moves on some niggas, be different, be toxic, break the game. This is how you do it, my boy. I probably rock the badges like this, man. I don't know, man. Either between floor or dimer. I know a lot of people say dimer speeds up your jump shot, but actually increasing your rating speeds up your jump shot. So floor general actually does, um, to my knowledge. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know what playmaking badges you would rock on this build. By the way, Ankle Breaker only goes to gold. You can't get it on Hall of Fame. Honestly, right now, for this particular build, if niggas actually run ISO once everyone gets the game, maybe something like this, or, you know, maybe if you don't need Intimidator this year, something like this. Um, man, it's a, it's a tough thing. Maybe, uh... something like this all up to you my boy y'all let me you y'all let me know what defensive badges you would rock anywho that's the end of the video man make sure y'all subscribe if you new. follow me on twitch at lord baby hawk turn on post notifications hit that like button follow me on twitter follow all my other social media in the description sub to my second channel in the description and yeah man i'm out this whole man i hope y'all niggas have a beautiful day Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day, my boy.